Now across the Bay Area, people are getting ready for the big storm and the impact it could have. ABC 7 News reporter Cornell Bernard is live for us in Pacifica where a lot of sandbagging is happening. They are getting ready, Cornell. Yeah, definitely a lot of folks are getting ready for the storm, Dion, for sure. Light rain following right, falling right now here in Pacifica. All eyes at this hour on the Pacific that's cranking up some rough surf at this hour. And all the sand you see here was kicked up by the last storm. And a bigger weather system, well, it's on the way. And then you have this, uh, the boards all the way up, and then we have the sandbags. Jocunda Egan is prepared for the storm. Her home-facing Beach Boulevard in Pacifica is a fortress of boards and sandbags ready for heavy rain, strong winds, and high surf. And she's done some praying, too. I have a lot of, a lot of faith in God. God is going to protect me. But I do, I'm concerned not, not only for myself and my neighbors, but for the city. Beach Boulevard is off-limits to cars, and Pacifica Pier remains closed to the public after a storm damaged the structure in late December. We found folks shoveling sand and sweeping water. Crew Santana is concerned about flooding. Just so I can clean out some of this water that came in from the waves and from the rain coming in lately. Things have been kind of hectic in, in Pacificas. Digital freeway signs across the Bay Area asking drivers to avoid travel Sunday and Monday due to severe weather. We have just a lot of equipment that's going to help us uh, rescue people in different situations. California's Swiftwater Flood Search and Rescue Team 11, based in Marin County, has been activated for the storm. As you know, Marin County always gets a lot of rain, and we've had flooding here and swift water events within Marin County. So we're just kind of getting ready for that in case it does happen. Earlier this week, first responders in Sonoma County rescued a stranded driver who they say drove around flooded road sites. PG&E says it's upstaffing crews around the state from Humboldt County to San Luis Obispo. They're bringing in extra power poles and transformers in case of storm damage. We're prepared across our service area, but it looks like at this point, um, no part of our service area will be untouched by this storm. Bring it on. Let's go. Yeah. Back in Pacifica, Regina Hill and her dog Bentley are ready for rain. I, I think it's a good thing. I think it's healing. It'll clean up the air. It'll clean up our environment and we need the water. Yeah, some people are welcoming the storm. Others hope it doesn't bring damage or flooding. PG&E asking uh, folks to be ready for possible outages. Charge your cell phone, have flashlights and batteries standing by. It's going to be a wet couple of days for sure. Stay safe, everybody. We're live in Pacifica tonight. Cornell Bernard, ABC 7 News. Yeah, some great tips and same to you, Cornell. Thank you.